Hey, Court, want to work on our bathroom? Sure. Come on in. <laughs> ah! Ow! Jake, that hit me! Whoops. Almost killed Court. Oh my god. has arrived. Looks gorgeous. Hey, where'd you come from? What does this look like again? What are you doing? Picture the showers now. Okay, the stuff I have to do to get light. Dang it! This is not work. This it doesn't have its prong. Oh, oh my door! Yeah. Oh God! Nothing's easy. Okay, I have to pick a tile for the shower, but since 
the one that I had originally picked out is like more of a beigey, taupey, ivory. It's like a warmer. And this is pulling like cool vibes. It's um, like white with the gray veining. So now I don't know if the one I want works because I don't hate that next to each other, but I just don't know if it's like too much. I'm gonna do a close up and see if you can see. See, you can tell that it's like warm, cool, and then warm again, which might be fine. I just don't know. I just don't know. So. <laughs> Bringing in the big guns. Big boy. It's giving yellow. It's there. It is. Now that might be too bright. Okay, but we're just gonna compare some different ones. Let's see if you guys can see. Okay. This is just a plain white, which might end up being smarter. But I'm just so sad because I love this so much. I just don't know if it's gonna work. I feel like this is smarter just in case because there's just a lot, there'll be a lot going on. If there's black floors, white with gray, and then like a ivory, I just feel like we should do white and black and gray. And then brown accents. Oh no, honey, I miss you. I maybe can use you somewhere else. Is this a black one? Check it out and look at it. So you tie it over. Pull it all the way out, it's got wadders. Oh. It's like the right size. So we picked out a drain for our shower. Linear drain. Linear drain, and then this piece goes over this to give it this, um, so you can tile over and give it a, so pretend this is the tile. So that little seam is the drain, so that you don't see something like this. It's just going to be tile and like an invisible line where all the water goes. Yep. That's good. Like that idea, Murphy? Oh, she's awake. So is that door, it's not gonna be cold here anymore. No? What? I don't know. We're just using regular. What should we start with? The... Yeah, I think we could do these three walls. 
Okay. Does that mean we have to move all that crap? Yep. Bathroom? Sure. Come on in. <laughs> Through the Narnia door? Today, I'll be showing you how to install a pre hung door, interior door. It's not that hard. I've never done it before. <laughs> it's not so hard. Can't be that hard. It's pre hung on that thing? Why is it crooked? Floors. Is that not the right fit? Uh, it's not fit. Got a lot of space to fill. Yeah, with what? Just shims and stuff. I don't get it.
haven't worked with this duck work much, but if you ever try to snap it in yourself, it's kind of difficult. I get one side started. I guess exhaust fan. Uh, Am I about to get blasted? Where is he? He's on the roof. Yeah, the drill bit just fell off and hit me in the hand. That that, that could have hit me in the head. The ceiling fan wasn't there. Court was right under it, and it just fell on her. I heard it from the top. This heavy ass yeah. giant thing. Oh my God! I just heard a scream from the other room. Teeth first. Oh my God! That placement of all the. Looking at me from the hole. <laughs> oh, ow. Hey, Jake. Where, where's, Damn. where's the phone at? It's over here. <laughs> it's over, I'm over here, baby. Hi. Starbucks has its whole merchandise you? store. No, luckily. Look at that. Thing didn't hit your head. Yeah, no shit. I thought you'd be off to the side a little bit. Well, I thought I had to be up close to get a like close. Oh, it was just it was it. just too bad all around. <laughs> Whoops! Almost killed Court. The dang draw bit, uh, draw bit, drill bit fell off the drill through the hole and almost smacked her in the head. That was a close one. ceiling ceiling vent cap in through the hole now we just gotta connect the vents duct works installed Get some foil tape just to hold it and seal it that were left out of our process just you know things just don't always get recorded I think you saw me at floor and decor picking out the tile that I originally thought we were gonna use 
and then I totally flipped. I just like, something wasn't right. I didn't want white. We have subway tiles in our kitchen, in our other bathroom, so I wanted something different. I knew I wanted, and it just wasn't matching with the vanity as you saw. So then I was like, this whole room is like pretty moody, and I wanted to keep it that way. The only pops of white were the little bit in the, the tub, obviously. A little bit of the top of the vanity, even though it has that veining in it, it does still have like a bright white. So I wanted to go away from white, and I thought what would be better would be to pull in the gray from the veining of the vanity and just do like a concrete all over the walls of the shower, which I ended up finding here. This was like the most amazing, it's like a 12 by 24 tile, which is, I liked the bigger scale, it made it look more expensive to me, and we ended up doing them in this really pretty like vertical formation, and it really looks like a big concrete shower. It turned out so good, and I'm really happy with the decision that we made. Um, and then for the floors, I thought, if we have black tile on the floors, I don't want it to transition into another color. We need to keep black on the floor. And I originally thought that we could just do the same tile as we're doing in the bathroom floor in the shower. But then you learn a lot of things in this process. I learned that you can't have big giant tiles on the shower floor. It gets too slippery. You need smaller tiles with a bunch of grout lines so that you know you're not falling on your ass every time you're taking a shower. So, looked at a bunch, decided that the black matte little hexagon tiles were perfect and made for like a seamless transition into the shower. I had them use the floor tile for the rest of the bathroom over the transition into the shower so that it was really seamless. I'm just really happy with the decisions we made and how it turned out. It looks so good. been a while since I've been on camera. Hi. I have my painting clothes on. Um, now that the floors are done, woo! I'm so excited. Um, oh, Murphy's asleep on the other side of this wall. So Now that the floors are done, besides in here, obviously, I decided to do carpet in here because I'm going to be on the floor in here and like getting ready and I just want it to be cozy. And I thought the tile with the rug just wouldn't cut it. So I want like plush carpet. We're gonna make it cute, don't you worry. I'm gonna start kind of dusting off the walls. They're really dusty. And then I'm gonna do some priming just so whenever I do decide what wall color, um, it'll be ready and obviously it's just drywall right now so that's gonna be fun really not excited about the freaking ceilings we'll see i'm gonna get started though <laughs>
the luxury of having one, a second bathroom, but two, one right off your bed room mm -hmm. is amazing. We're grateful and we've been patient. We deserve it, right? Yes, so happy to be done. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And next video will be decorating and closet finish. So stay tuned for all that. Bye. See ya. Mm -hmm.